Welcome to On the Edge with J.P. Divine from Central Maine Sunday. On the Edge with J.P. Divine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for listening and supporting local journalism in Central Maine. Now here's J.P. Divine. Got the... <laughs> it's the first week of August. And I just took the trash to the curb, one in these restrictive times of my most exciting tasks. Pity, poor me. Retired from teaching, she sits at her desk writing checks and paying the bills for July. She's happy because I've stopped spending money we don't have so that she can say we're comfortable. She likes saying that. That's like saying folks in Kentucky are comfortable sitting atop their houses instead of in the living room. I ignore it. But it's sort of kind of true. Having paid the house painter and Home Depot for the overpriced new window shutters, we are financially in the best shape since January of 2020, when the <laughs> be began. Uh, let me explain. The family tells me I can't talk about <laughs> anymore. So all of you are super tired of hearing and reading about it. So a replacement is called for. She, the great wordsmith, suggests I use <laughs> in its place. That's where the podcast comes in. Are you ready for this? I will print the word, but blow our old bicycle horn and the podcast. You ready for that? Uh-huh. The blame falls on her. You want to talk about, that's fine, but not on this page. You want bad news? Ask Lester Holt or someone at Fox. Here, here's my day. After I complete this column, I will take the trash down, wearing my mask so I don't catch <laughs> from passersby. Then I will walk slowly up the driveway, pause, and look at the newly painted house and shutters. I sigh. Ain't it grand? Can you see how inflation, gas prices, and... <laughs> have shrunk my lifestyle. You hear what I'm saying here? To pass the time, I go sit in my newly detailed Prius. I will sit there, enjoying the new fresh, clean smell, and run my hand over the bright work. Well, sometimes I, I take a little nap there in the car as the fresh breeze ruffles my hair. I'm jolted awake by the mailman's tapping on my window. Uh, you catch the <laughs> JP, he jokes as he hands me my magazine. <laughs> awake, I will, without her knowing, quietly motor up to Starbucks for a large passion tea with a shot of strawberry juice. In the parking lot, I watch the summer folk arriving in Missouri Illinois and Texas, of course, we know why the Texans are here, don't we? I enjoy the parade of maskless human beings of all colors and shapes, slimy beauties and grotesque, bulging bare torso folks covered in tattoo art, sucking up lattes, totally oblivious of the horrors. <laughs> In past pre-summers, we would dine at the Tuscan Grill in Freeport, stroll the aisles of L.L. Bean and buy wine and crackers at Trader Joe's in Portland, dine on lobster rolls at Red Eats in Wisconsin. Often we would be having a, a shrimp salad and waving to the yachts, passing by on the deck at the waterfront cafe in Camden. Hello! Can we come with you? We don't have any. <laughs> the only actual humans we see are the occasional 
friendly baristas that slide open their windows at Starbucks and McDonald's and the clerks who whisper and wave from behind the glass at our bank. After supper and my nightly cocktail of Stella Artois, we'll swallow a couple of Prevagen capsules and watch Jeopardy. Just don't mention, <laughs> if you call, drive by any time and wave. We like to wave. Thanks for listening to On the Edge with J.P. Devine. On the Edge with J.P. Devine audio is made possible by our subscribers like you. Thank you for supporting local journalism in Central Maine.